screencast this one's on the pythagoras theorem it's just the basics and we're going to go on from there so things that you'll need to know you'll need to know how to change the subject so that's another earlier uh, screencast and it really help if you know how to square root and square numbers let's anyway let's get into it it's not not difficult uh, as long as we follow with some simple guidelines we'll be absolutely fine so what is pythagoras theorem states that all right angled triangles, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the two other sides. That's pretty much what it means, okay? So we're going to use a little uh, equation that's going to help us out to answer these questions. But here's an, here's an example. So we've got 4 squared, and 4 squared is 16, okay? Then we've got 3 squared, which is 9. And if we add 9 and 16 together, that gives us 25 and 5 squared is 25 and that's basically how it works. So let's going to use uh, another example here so let's put it all out on there and let's use this to prove that we are correct so what we're saying here is that 12 squared plus 5 squared equals 13 squared. Okay so here's the here's the equation that we're going to use and let's replace a with the smallest side which is 5. So we've got 5 squared plus what's the next smallest side is 12 squared. And lastly, it's going to equal 13 squared. That's what, that's what the rule and the equation says to us. Okay, so let's work this out now. So we've got 5 times 5 gives us 25. And 12 times 12, we should know our squared numbers, but that's 144. Okay, and that's going to equal 13 squared. So again, if you've got a calculator, definitely I'd recommend having it to hand for these ones. Okay, so let's just see if that's correct. So 25 plus 144, so let's do this properly. And we can see that it does equal the same. So 169 equals 169. And we're going to use this equation this one here to in future to help us work through all of these next few questions. So here goes, uh, so we're going to need a calculator as said before and we've got, okay so we're going to use this equation at the top that we can see just up here to help us work out the length of the hypotenuse and we've got to remember the hypotenuse is the longest side. So let's write it out again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared replace a with 6 because that's the smaller side, b with 8, smaller side, and then c squared. So 6 times 6 equals 36 plus what's 8 times 8? Okay, we should know that's 64 and then we don't know what c squared is. Add together, so 64 add 36, that gives us to 100 and that equals c squared and we square root, and we square root. Okay, so the square root of 100 is 10 equals C. Okay, and we can replace that C for the X because we're looking for X, X equals 10. Okay, let's use that again on the next question, which is gonna be exactly the same, just different numbers. And we're looking for that X again. Remember that's the hypotenuse because it's opposite the 90 degree angle there so let's replace a with 9 but I'll, I'll write it out again a squared plus b squared equals c squared uh, a meaning 9 squared b meaning 12 squared and then we do not know what c squared is so what is uh, 9 times 9 is 81 12 times 12 is 144 equals c squared get your calculators out if you want to or you can go longhand and go 144 uh, add 81, so we've got 5, we've got 12, and we've got 2. So we've got 2, 2, 5. 2, 2, 5 equals C squared. So we square root, and we square root, and we end up with, we need to use our calculator for this one, the square root of 2, 2, 5 is 15. 
So C equals 15 and we can replace that with X equals 15. All right, so the next one is a little bit more tricky, but if we know how to change the subject, we'll be absolutely fine with this one. So let's bring up our question here now. All right, so now we've got, what's the smallest one? Well, the smallest one, let's say it's 13 squared. What's the second smallest one? Well, we don't know, so we've just got B squared there. And that equals 20 squared. Okay, so what's 13 squared? I think it was 169, I'm just going to go and check. Yes, it is, 169. Plus, we don't know what B squared is, but we do know what 20 squared is. 20 times 20 is 400. So now we've got 169 plus B squared equals 400. So if we can remember how to change the subject, what we would do is minus 169 off both sides. So what's 400? Take away 169. And very quickly we've got B squared equals 231. So what is the square root? Because we square root and square root of that. So we'll end up with the square root of 231 is equal to, is going to be 15.2 to 1 decimal place. You may have got something a little bit different, but you can see what I've done there. Okay, so now that you've had a go or you've tried all those, you can go back and watch more if you want. But now it's going to be time for the quiz if you feel quite confident on those. Give the quiz a go. You've got two easier ones and then one more difficult one. So just remember to give it a go and then come back to see if you've got the right answer. Okay, so hopefully you've had some time to uh, do all that. Let's just check the answers now. So for the first one, we had 6 squared plus 8 squared equals x squared or c squared. We got 100 squared, uh, sorry, 100 there equals x squared. Square root of that is 10. The next one, we can see what we've done there. We've added them together to get 1,681. We square root that to give us 41. And the last one, but not least, we have got our answer of x equals 10 again. Okay, so hopefully that has helped you get these correct. If you are struggling, please go back and watch again. Watch as many times as necessary to get the right answers. Okay, thank you very much. As always, make sure you go back and do a revision card on this. And as always, if you do struggle, don't give up, keep going because actually getting it wrong can sometimes be your first step to learning.